Hey everyone, in today's video, we're gonna talk about nurse anesthetists or CRNAs in Canada, or as they're formally called in Canada, anesthesia assistants. If you wanna gain more information about nursing or to improve your nursing knowledge in general, please consider subscribing down below. I upload a video every single week. Also be sure to give this video a thumbs up. It took a long time making this video and I would greatly appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up as it would share this video and allow for other people to see this video as well. So in the US, nurse anesth anesthetists are called certified registered nurse anesthetists. So CRNAs. In Canada, they're called anesthesia assistants. There's no doubt that this field is much more developed and well known in the states than in Canada. However, they both achieve the same goal in providing anesthesia in patients. In this video, I'll talk about different schools that offer this program in Canada and give you a general idea of what the requirements are, as well as inform you about the scope of practice and general day-to-day -day, um, life, what it's like. However, I'll preface by saying that I've never worked with a an nurse anesthetist or anesthesia assistants in Canada, and I have never seen one at the hospital. So anesthesia assistants are specially trained professionals who assist in the delivery of patient care during the preoperative period as part of anesthesia-led care teams. Graduates of a program will find employment usually in hospitals and surgical clinics working primarily in the operating room. But also can be found in post-operative care areas such as labor and delivery, emergency, um, intensive care. An anesthesia assistant is a specially trained registered respiratory therapist or a critical care registered nurse that participates in the care of the stable surgical patient during general, regional, or conscious sedation anesthesia through medical directives under the supervision of and immediate availability of a anesthesiologist. So there's a number of schools that offer this program. Thompson Rivers is one of the universities that offers it in Canada. So in order for you to apply for this, you need to firstly reside in Canada, have a registered nurse designation with critical care experience, or be a registered respiratory therapist. So for a registered nurse, generally you're gonna wanna work in ICU. So ICU nursing is probably gonna be a huge asset for you. And obviously this area is gonna be some, is, is gonna be um, the ideal place to work as a nurse. So the only requirement is to have one year of nursing experience in that field, or you know, if you're a respiratory therapist, you only need one year of experience. But that's just the minimum, right? You, you obviously, especially in a field like this, you wanna gain a lot of experience and have, I would say, at least three to four years of experience under your belt before you feel confident enough to being that person that's administering or leading the conscious sedation or you know providing analgesia in the operating room. You have to also have a sponsorship letter and commitment letter from the anesthesia department to complete a deliver to complete a clinical placement there. Um, so what that essentially means is like you kind of have to go to the anesthesiologist and that team and say, hey, I'm interested in doing this program. Are you willing to take me on as a student? And are you willing to teach me everything during my clinical? Obviously the university will provide theory and courses itself, but the, um, you need to have a anesthesiologist team be accepting of you as a student as well at your hospital or a hospital. You need to also have obviously ACLS and you need to be able to find the clinical placements yourselves. Now there's another school that um, called Fanshawe. University is a university based in London, Ontario and they indicate that you need at least 2,000 work hours as a registered nurse or respiratory therapist 
and the, they have a preference of living in not only Canada, but specifically Ontario. It's a 45 week program, approximately $5,000 each term for a total of three terms. I will say that some schools uh, have programs, but they don't have it open for submission. Essentially, they have the ability to open spots for students, but for some reason they aren't accepting them. It may be due to a lack of interest for students, but also it could be a lack of resources. For example, there's no, no anesthesiologist team that's willing to accept these students. Um, the next school I'm going to talk about is Missioner Institute. I'll have all the links down in the description box below, so you definitely want to be able to check that out. Missioner Institute is a part-time school, approximately 39 weeks of school plus clinical uh, placements. So the scheduling for that school and that program is a little bit different, but basically you need to have a letter like similar to the first one, Thompson Rivers, you need to have a letter that an anesthesiologist uh, hospital and an anesthesiologist team in a hospital, I should say, is able to accept you as a student. And you need to um, obviously before work two years as an RN or respiratory therapist in a critical care setting such as ICU, ER, NICU, or PACU. So down in the description box, I'll have a list of all the schools that offer this program, but to quickly go over them, in British Columbia, Thompson Rivers University has a program. In Manitoba, University of Manitoba has a program. Nova Scotia has Dalhousie University. Ontario has Al Al Algonquin University and Missioner Institute, Fanshawe University. And I'll also leave a link in the description box if you're interested to learn more about anesthesia assistance and how you can go about getting more information about it. In general, this information was quite difficult to find and the schooling and the information from the universities itself was a bit vague. So. If you're truly interested in this field, I would highly recommend you at least attend or phone them or attend one of their educational days that is listed in the university's website. Anyways, guys, that's the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, please consider giving it a thumbs up. Let me know about your thoughts. Are you thinking about anesthesia assistant school? Have you thought about anesthesia assist? Did you know it existed? Anyways, and we'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching.